Hello. I see here. Bug fables. I looked around in and out of uh, Snake Mouth Den a bit more, but I just couldn't find what I was looking for. But anyway, in the last part, we did Leaf's Quest, and I realized that involved uh, involved beating a boss. A hardened Zamoth. Got the block heal medal. If the equipped ally performs a super block, they heal one HP. And I did read somewhere on the wiki when I was browsing the other day. Uh, figured I'm late enough in the game I can look at the wiki a little. <laughs> um, that uh, if you super block, you will never die with this because you can go to zero and then get healed. So if you just always super block, you never die. Think about it. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's do literally any quest besides the doctor one. Okay. I mean, maybe I just accept them all. So yeah, painter needs paint in the bee kingdom. Kind of want to go there to try a boss rush. I think the detector is probably something I want around now. Okay, your brother didn't take their lunch in the Forsaken Lands, and you're by the Colosseum. Seedling hunt. You need to know what seedlings are. You have a lab in Termite City. Okay, your best friend's missing in the Forsaken Lands. Meet you outside of the Dome Hotel. Okay, you just can't sleep. Uh, maybe you need like a sleep bomb? <laughs> anyway, Termite City Plaza. It's time. You're tired of striders taking lives and limbs? Beat 10 striders, come to your house in Ant City. Okay, all the quests have been accepted. Oh yeah, I can just get a gold or a tangy berry from uh, the arcade. But where is Cut? <laughs> uh, that might be good to know if I'm gonna do that quest. Um, are they just the Golden Settlement Chef? I guess let's take care of that real fast. I wonder if I can afford a metal with crystal berries. Why did I go in here? That's not the arcade. Oh, that's actually pretty expensive. Oh, my inventory's full, right. All those random items I picked up around Snake Mouth. Oh good, you can use items while you're at max HP. Forsaken Lands. Wait. Here's the Golden Settlement. Maybe using the compass put me at a weird spot compared to just walking down the stairs normally. Ah, you look like the man in the request. Actually found one. Yeah, found it. Leave it to me. Here it is, my magnum opus, Tangy Carpaccio. 12 HP to the party? What? Okay, yeah, I see why Tangy Berries are that expensive. This is a dish only I can make. Just bring me a Tangy Berry and I shall prepare it for you free of charge. Thank you very much for this. Alright, nice. Actually, maybe I should... 
cook my leaves or something? Looks like honey a leaf. Oops. No, I misselected. Uh, <laughs> I thought the first ingredient I selected was honey. Okay. Only took three tries to make this honeyed leaf. Wait, what's, what's this item? Aphid do. Okay. Also, you can buy hard seeds. Okay. You fought so well, Green Ranger. Dear me, if only. Hope you'll fight again next year. Right, that was related to that. What else was... Was that all I was here for, was the cooking? I feel like one of these quests had some... Oh. Another cooking quest. Team Snake Mouth by Arya. I was not sure how to reach you, so this is my best shot. I have a personal favor to ask if you have time. I'll be in the Golden Settlement. I pray for your visit. Were these locked behind the, the cooking quest? Anyway. Uh... Fry has a cooking quest as well. Gotta get messy and mix the ultimate sweet with the ultimate tanginess. Anyone got them around? I have no idea what those refer to. But we're definitely up for the task. Alright. I'd like to hit up a save point before talking to Arya in case the request is like immediately rematch me. You came. I'm very grateful. It was our pleasure, Acolyte. You look well. What seems to be the issue? I'll be brief. Do not waste your time. I'm planning on giving the goddess an incredible offering. An offering? Like, a lot of berries? Goddesses don't need money. <laughs> uh, leaf. Never mind. Bet it's a bunch of food. That is correct. It is? Seriously? I wish to give her a banquet worthy of one as great as she is. I've prepared several dishes that I have, but I'm missing something grand. What sort of dish are you looking for? It's hard to say. Something I cannot simply buy would be excellent. We could ask Fry, Cut, or Crisby to make something. Their specialty, perhaps? I've heard the chef Fry has been planning his masterpiece. The goddess would be overjoyed to taste something that divine. So, uh, you think she'll give us something for it? Of course. Venus is generous, kind, and loving. If you make her happy, she will reward you. Fry's masterpiece. We'll do our best to get it for you, Arya. You have my thanks, Team Snake Mouth. I'll be waiting here for you. Let's make sure to make one for us too, Kabu. So, this is probably like the, um, the Keeping Cool quest, where there are three different options. Uh, the option I never mentioned that I read on the wiki about was the shell ointment also works. Besides the ice cube and finding a leaf umbrella somehow. Anyway, let's see what's up with Fry's request, if he'll tell us the actual items. If I need another tangy berry, I'm just gonna play Might Knight on camera. Hey, 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 you lot took my request, right? Alright, let's get to the chase. I had an idea for the ultimate dish. Combining the most sweet thing with the most tangy feeling. It will surely be something out of this world. I need two dishes not found anywhere else, which together will contain these qualities. Oh! I need the donut and the... Okay. The reward will be well worth it. We're here for the request. Down to business, eh? Well, did you bring the two ingredients? Yes. I actually did it. I'm impressed. Those ingredients are perfect for this ultimate dish. Let's get right into it. I was actually warned I would need the tangy dish. Didn't expect to need it in this way. <laughs> Aha! Here it is, the ultimate dish. I just thought Cut was gonna have, like, a second dish, because I think Crisby had multiple quests. 
You got a Queen's Dinner. Fry's Masterpiece, a dinner fit for royalty. Restores 15 HP to the party, 15 TP, and heals any status effect. Okay, that... That sounds amazing. This is something only I can cook. Just bring these ingredients back here and I will make as many as you can eat. Thank you very much for this. I think I'll hit up the arcade between videos and get some tangy berries and you can buy all the things for Crispy with berries and, you know. So I guess it makes sense why those two quests were locked behind the cut quest. <laughs> Unfortunately, losing my best items in the process of doing this. Like, I thought those, uh... What were they? Jade's Stew? Is that the item name? Yeah, I thought these were good. <laughs> you show me this. I'm like, okay. That's very turn and slot efficient. Did you bring it? So? Yes, I can tell that this dish is something worthy of giving to Venus. Nice. So we just have to deliver it to her, right? Indeed. We must venture to the top of the hills and deliver it to her. You go on ahead. I shall catch up in a bit. Alright, see you at the top. Okay, the item was removed from my inventory. Eh? Oh, are you explorers? You've got that reliable aura. That's correct. Madeline, I presume? That's me. I'm so grateful for your help. You see, Seb, my dear butler, got lost while we enjoyed our pilgrimage. I've searched quite a bit, but I'm helpless finding my way without him. Pretty please, can you try and find him for me? How's he like? It'd help us. Right, he's precious, tiny, with an orange bow tie. He shouldn't have gone too far. Please do your best. Yes, I'll reward you appropriately. <laughs> We're on it. Just hang in there. Were these... Defeated by them? Anyway, let's uh, do one quest at a time. Also, I realized earlier off camera while I was re exploring, well, on camera, but I'm not showing it. Um, having the boomerang stay out is a little more awkward. You have to let go of and repress the button, because you'll just fly. <laughs> Okay. It's truly something. Here on a pilgrimage? And they wish they'd been able to see the festival. Oh, explorers. What a wonderful surprise. I am indeed. Aren't these violet leaves just amazing? This whole area is so full of beauty, yet it's still dangerous. Please be careful as you take in the sights. Thank you, miss. Be safe as well. So they didn't have a bow tie. Hey, Venus. Goddess Venus. Hiya. <laughs> v, Kabu, long time no see. I'm especially glad not er, glad to not get spooked by you, Leaf. Uh, sorry, we can't help it. Goddess, I have brought you a humble offering with the help of these brave explorers. Please enjoy it to your heart's content so that our village may be blessed for just a bit longer. Arya, you know the festival's more than enough. But thank you. I can tell it's going to be wonderful. Let's share, shall we? Oh myself. <laughs> awesome. Can earthly ingredients reach this flavor? We're gonna have to hunt for more tangy berries. It, it was beyond my expectations. Thank you so much for sharing with me, goddess. It was nothing. I've never had a picnic. I'm feeling overjoyed. Team Snakemouth. Getting a healing discount from yours truly. Whoa! Only five berries now. That should have been the regular. Ow! <laughs> it was our honor. It was worth it as soon as we tasted that dish. Please take this medal too as a token of my gratitude. You got a prayer medal. The equipped allies do nothing command restores two HP as well. Oh. <laughs> I'm so relieved you enjoyed the offering. I sure I'm glad I don't constantly monitor everyone. It would have ruined the surprise. Come back again, yes? Your most pleasant company. Anytime. 
Okay. I'm pretty cool with that reward, yeah. Only wish I'd uh, actually done the cooking quests earlier. I guess I didn't have tangy berry access. Don't think I ever found a golden seedling in the whole game. Or wait, do I have their spy data? Maybe I found one. Oh yeah, it's there. I was thinking, wait, I know what their card does in spy cards. <laughs> they have some all caps and Leaf is just like, so this is a golden seedling. Still got an exclamation mark in there. It has unholy defenses though. Tangy berries sell for dozens. We're gonna be rich. Also, multi-hits apparently don't work. And defense piercing doesn't work. Okay. I wonder what the best way to actually take one down is. Anyway, I guess we're looking for somebody with a bow tie. I should have just run straight into that enemy to instant kill it for its possible berries. Alright, not seeing anybody around here. Oh. Mine. Alright, did I? I went left, yeah. Okay. I wonder if if I was just going forward in the game, if I would ever need to uh, just have the uh, V-Merang stay in place again. quickly investigate what I can to the right without doing any platforming. Let me just repeat that. No clues. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Not noticing, whoops. Not noticing anything of interest around here. Kinda wish I had that detector metal. <laughs> but like, whose fault is it that I don't have it? It's mine. Oh, you look like a person with a bow tie. I bet I've never hit this grass either. That bow tie. Are you Seb by any chance? Oh dear. Could the lady have sent you? I'm so relieved. She must be worried sick. It's disgraceful that I would worry her herself fleeing upon sight of monsters. I can only hope she'll forgive me. Stop worrying. She'll be quite pleased to see you. You truly think so? Then, without further delay, let us not keep her waiting. My, how devoted. Just stay close to us. We'll get you through safely. I just want to look around a little. Okay, you're not seeing like any other ramps up to any other islands. Could have been like a secret metal. There wasn't, but there could have been. Seb, my dear, you're safe. The lady, I'm sorry to have troubled you so. Oh, how would my life be without you to help me? I can only hope my absence would be noted, milady. But of course. Oh, brave explorers, I can't thank you enough. 
I can think of one or two nice ways of saying thanks. <laughs> no worries, I haven't forgotten your huge kindness. As a token of my gratitude, I hope you'll make good use of this. You got a lore book. With that said, shall we head home? I fancy some burly tea. Of course, milady. With some sweet bread? You know me too well. Brave explorers, may we meet again sometime. I believe this quest chain gives the leaf umbrella she's been holding. Although I find myself wondering if it's just gonna stick around in like my key items forever, because I've already done the keeping cool quest. Butler missing again. Meet me in the wild swamplands entrance and help me find him. He must be terrified and every second he's in greater danger. Alright. Hmm. So what do I do now? No quests. Oh yeah, I can deliver the lore book. And then... Maybe one of these bounties? Metal Lake. Oh, is that one I need the boat to reach? We've seen the tidal worm before. I have not found the devourer or the false monarch. Where did I find the devourer? No, I think I think the hidden boss I found around there was some other thing. Unrelated to the bounty quests. Kinda wanna take another shot at that thing. <laughs> where's, the, where's the compass? Wonder if there's a way to sort that item pouch. Looks like I need maybe like two or three lore books. Not counting, or not rather counting this one. Ah, <laughs> said the reverse of what I meant. Yeah, I can't tell if there are one or two spots there now. Many crystals exist around the world, filled with a mysterious power. The old roaches learned how to harness their magic, and crystals are now used as power sources for many machinery and other things. No current side effects from crystal exposure are known, making them relatively safe. Some children's tales mention that sometimes sounds can be heard from them in a quiet enough place. Probably fake. Archaeologists say these crystals appeared at the same time the Day of Awakening started, suggesting a link between them and that event. Okay. I still don't have another bad book. Oh, wait. If I want another shot at that one boss... I think I want to start from the Golden Settlement. I think the Poison V and deal massive damage strat is just gonna destroy it. broken that. Oh, come on. Actually, this one might be one... Yeah, since it's before the Golden Settlement, you just throw at it. You don't need to keep the V-Marang in place. If you did, there wouldn't have been a way to get to the Golden Settlement. Uh, that's not belief. <laughs> so yeah, what's this thing called? Mother Chomper. What a formidable beast. Let's see. 
Yeah, I probably do want to ice fall. Then maybe like set up some poison? <laughs> Just to eat the danger shroom. Double poisons thanks to weak stomach. damage. Alright. So now we just use the ton of skills. I thought that would kill. Well... Oh, I forgot favorite one again. Alright, so I think you need to use a TP item. Healing might also be cool. Oh, we might be able to get away with just the honey leaf here. the small enemies. I need to use another item. Maybe one of these stews. <laughs> 3 HP. Let's see, with the attack up, I th think Leaf just kills with a normal attack. Yeah. I thought the battle was going to end, so I took my hand off the controller. Scratch an itch. Do you in fact need to kill the minion? Oh, that was some nice overflow experience in the next level up. Take a boost. Metal points. I think if there's one criticism I have of this game, it's that there are too many copies of the medals that basically replace the other level ups. So metal points is just correct way too much. I'd rather they have like less of that, but maybe like somewhere you could respend your level ups. Oh wait, I leveled. I don't need healing. Anyway, let's, uh, get our reward for that. And that'll be it for the video. Did what, three quests? Uh, four, I guess, actually, if you count the, uh, cooking the tangy berry. <laughs> wait, what, wait, who are you? I can feel it, the potential for this small inn to become a grand hotel. So many things to invest in first, though. So wait, why did... Maybe a scientist would know what to do with it. I was thinking since I got proof of killing it, that uh, it actually was one of the bounty quests and I just needed like maybe go to that quest board, but uh... It occurs to me I may be going entirely the wrong way and should be in the bee kingdom, perhaps? Wait, that's... that's here. There are a number of other things I want to do in the bee kingdom, too. Hmm? 
like a boss rush or mini boss rush. I think they're separate things. I guess maybe I should have prepared more items then if that's my plan. My inventory is still looking okay ish. I have nine items. Let's see. So, what scientists do we know? I guess also, are you the scientist? Because this could be another scientist. Okay, right. You play cards. Okay, you're not interested in this chopper seed. Could be like one of the uh, termites, even. Oh, who are you? 150 berries for the house. Maybe I should make a withdrawal and buy the house. Isn't there like someone else sciencey around here? Also, what's that? It's a ribbon which you can wear or give to your pets. I don't have 50 berries on me, but also that's quite interesting. Oh, Hawk is back. Wonderful. He said you helped him. I must have. Yeah, do we get a reward? No way! You already have my stolen prototype and want more? Ugh. Come on, V. Helping is its own its own reward. Yeah, I've heard it before. Hmm. You're so ungrateful, but I actually do have something for you. As long as you're willing to gather some more data for me. Take this. You got a ADBP enhancer medal. Increases the amount of times some beamerang skills can hit. Oh! So, with my current combo, without any charge, because I keep forgetting to put favorite one on, that's an extra two damage. Assuming it works with hurricane toss. Ugh, more data stuff? That's so boring. Just be grateful I let you keep the prototype at all. Now get out of here before I lose my patience. Wait, what's that? Uh, what? That! Hand it over. The chopper seat? As I thought, that's a chomper seed. Indeed, it was left behind by a mother chomper. Fascinating. Do you know how uncommon it is for, bloom, for, uh, for seeds to not bloom immediately? I guess, yeah, it was like spitting seeds during the fight. Hawk, Hawk, come here, quick. Have I heard correctly? You actually found an unhatched chomper seed? Indeed, with this, maybe. Yes, yes, maybe we can make it work. What? What, what will work? Shut it and watch. Come here. I've been preparing this for years. In front of you, you see what I call a chomper vat. That's just a huge chunk of glass. Hush, this place is just a compact environment where chompers thrive. With this, we can plant that seed right here in the lab. So you wish for a pet chomper? Pet? I don't have time for that. This is science. If we can somehow study how the chompers are born and their lifestyles outside of chomping bugs, it would help us understand them more and maybe even pacify them in the future. Sure. I really don't get how, though. Is it worth it? Just getting them to stop attacking travelers is a huge boon to bugdom. We can't study them without great risks, but here we can observe them easily. We do find chompers cute. Here's hoping this works. That's what I like to hear. It's the moment of truth. So is this what the ribbons are for? The word pet came up. Success! It lives! It lives! Ah, what a cutie. I impressive. This chomper looks a bit different though, doesn't it? Hmm, my guess is that this is... You said that you got the seed from a mother chomper? Yeah, it was a super big, super strong mama chomper. I can only assume that this small one was supposed to be the next in line for that position. Chompers do have a weird hierarchy system, but isn't it too far apart from how it, er, ah, but it isn't too far apart from how us bugs do it. They have their mother, we have our queen. Maybe it's because she's still young, but she seems very peaceful. Hmm, I suppose there is some sort of imprinting in this chomper too. It doesn't seem like it will turn violent. We brought the seed here. Would you care to name it? Really? Can we? 
It's only fair. We owe this incredible specimen to you. I'm bad with names anyways. Go on, name it. Uh, yeah, default name. <laughs> nice. It's Chompy the Chomper. Chompy? Are you sure? Yeah. Very well. Now I have another favor to ask you. Ugh, you're gonna have to start paying. This task is the payment. I want you to go out in the field with Chomper and gather data on their behaviors. How's that a reward? You want us to babysit a dangerous monster? Don't call it a monster. She seems to have taken a liking to you three and should be mostly harmless. Maybe if she lives alongside bugs, she should... She could grow to become a peaceful mother, Chomper. We don't even care if you don't agree, V. We're doing it. It's too cute to leave here. Fine. I guess it is a bit cute. Isn't it? I cannot wait to share stories with it. It's settled. Come on over and take her out for a walk when you can. Just bring her back into the vat whenever, too. Count on us, Professor. We will ensure a bright future for this Chomper. Treat Chompy carefully. It's quickly earned my love. Achievement unlocked. Plant Enchanter. So I guess if we don't want it with us, we can bring it back here. I'm not sure what reasons. Give Ribbon. Venom. Actually, wait. Shocking is probably better. Take with you. Alright, we have a party of four, but presumably Chompy cannot receive attacks. Take good care of that chomper, we can't afford having to find another one. You don't need to say it twice, we'll protect her with all we got. Chompy seems to really have taken a liking to you. Please watch over her. If you're interested, I can change the name that you call her by. You like to change it? Nah. Alright, take care of her. Alright. Oh boy. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> wow. That must have been a long scene. I thought I was only gonna run a couple minutes over. So yeah, in the next part we'll talk to this artist, and then... Probably don't immediately do whatever they want, but then go into the boss rush. Anyway, see ya!